As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Peter and Andrew and said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. and our our mouth shall shall proclaim proclaim your your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us now read Psalm 62 responsibly, breaking at the asterisks. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly my hope is in him. him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. My stronghold so that that I shall not not be shaken. And God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our our refuge. On the scales they are lighter than a breath. All of them them together. Put no trust in exhortation, in robbery, taking no empty pride. Though the wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice I have heard it. That power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord. For you repay everyone according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As As it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, 
and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk. And he cried out, 40 days more and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God.
the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with, with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Help us, O God, our Savior. Deliver us and forgive us our sins. Look upon your congregation. Give to your people the blessing of peace. And, and your, your wonders, wonders among all peoples. Do not let the oppressed be saved and turned away. Never, Never forget, forget the lives of your poor. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you. And, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Satisfy your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Amen. Amen. O oh God, you make us glad with weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We have come into the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth God's praise and to hear God's holy word. We now ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation, praying for the needs of the whole world, for peace and justice on earth, and for the unity and mission of the church for which Jesus died. Let us pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Prince, our bishop, and for the clergy, staff, and people of St. Paul's. May we, illumined by word and sacrament, shine with the radiance of Christ's glory. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, and especially here in our nation. Bound together in a common life, may we, in the midst of our struggles, confront one another without hatred or bitterness, and may we work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Let us pray for all of those who bear the authority of government in this and every land, for Joseph, our president, Andrew, our governor, Lovely, our mayor, and all of those who have been elected or appointed to positions of public trust. Let us pray for our first responders, healthcare professionals, and the members of our military at home and abroad. May their lives and work serve the common good. Let us pray for those who know the darkness of war and fragile peace, and for those who know injustice and oppression of any kind. Let us pray for those who are homeless and unemployed. May they and we know the dignity of human nature so wonderfully created and restored in Christ. Let us pray for those who continue to suffer from COVID-19 and for those for whom our prayers have been requested. For John, Sue, Pace, Ruth, Nancy, Gordon, Virginia, David, Diane, Bob, Maria, Christine, Benjamin, and Tim. Let us remember those who have died, especially Jack McAllister, and all of those whom we love but see no longer. May they rest in peace. And lastly, we lift up those intentions and thanksgivings we name aloud now or hold in the silence of our heart.
and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Amen. Amen.